Welcome, fellow Tarnished, to Dark Fantasy Games, a new channel dedicated to Elden Ring and the Dark Fantasy genre. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at all of the Elden Ring starting classes, their stats and initial equipment. This will give you the opportunity to be able to pick the right class when you start your journey in Elden Ring. So let's start with the hero class, which is probably a good starting point for those of you who are looking for a strength build. This character has high strength and vigor value, which controls things like your health points, focus points and stamina. The hero class starts as souls level 7, with a vigor of 14, dexterity of 9, mind of 9, intelligence at 7, Endurance at 12, Faith at 8, Strength at 16, and Arcane at 11. So as you can see, Strength is the standout attribute here, followed by Vigor, and then Endurance. Very, very good for those of you who want a powerful melee character at the start of the game. The Hero class will start with a Battle Axe, and leather shield once you jump into the game. Next up is the astrologer class which is a good starting point for those who want to use a glint stone sorceries but also have a backup sword and shield in case you are in more of a close quarters combat situation. This class will have high intelligence and mind stats, which is a perfect combination for sorceries, but it also has decent dexterity to be able to wield weapons like swords and other blades. The astrologer class will start at souls level 6, with a vigor of 9, dexterity at 12, mind at 15, intelligence at 16, endurance at 9, faith at 7, strength at 8, and arcane at 9. So as you can see standout stats there are intelligence which is quite high at 16, mind at 15 and next being dexterity at 12. The astrologer class will start with an astrologer's staff, a short sword and small shield. Next up is the prisoner class which offers a good starting point for those of you who want a decent level of endurance and strength but also having enough intelligence and mind to be able to use particular sorceries. This character could also be a good starting point for those of you who are not sure yet at the beginning of the game if you want to go for a more melee focused character or one that's going to be good with things like sorceries it means that it's easy for you to be able to branch off as you will see once we look at the stats. So the prisoner will start at souls level 9 with vigor being 11, dexterity 14, mind at 12, intelligence 14, endurance at 11, faith at 6, strength at 11 and arcane at 9. So as you can see a lot of those stats are actually relatively well balanced with things standing out like dexterity, intelligence and then strength, endurance and vigor being on the same level with a high mind stat. So as I've mentioned this is going to be a good balanced character early on in the game for you to be able to decide which way you're going to go with your build once you jump into the game and start actually figuring out what sort of sorceries and weapons you're going to potentially unlock as you play the game and find where your play style is going to be going. You know, if you're going to be wanting to go for more of a melee strength build or if you're going to want to go more towards sorceries. Prisoner class will start off with an S-stock, which is like a piercing sword. You'll also start with a catalyst staff and an iron round shield. Next up is the Prophet class, which is one of those classes that's going to be good for those of you who are interested in incantations. This class has high faith and mind stats, which is a good foundation for incantations. 
The class has high focus points mixed with high faith. And these stats are important if you want to be able to use particular incantations on this particular build. The Prophet class starts out at Souls level 7 with a Vigor at 10, Dexterity at 8, Mind at 14, Intelligence at 7, Endurance at 8, Faith at 16, Strength at 12 and Arcane at 11. So obviously from that you can see that the standout stats are Faith and Mind being closely followed up with some decent strength and arcane stats. So the Prophet class will start out with quite a decent amount of gear, including a spear, a finger seal, which you will need to be able to cast incantations, a rickety shield. You'll also start with the Prophet's blindfold, robe and trousers. Also a couple of good magic incantations, such as heal, which does what it says on the tin and also beast claw which is some pretty powerful magic that makes this area of effect attack come out of the ground with a claw like motion next up is the bandit class which is probably good for those of you who want to use long range weapons such as bows this class does start with high dexterity and arcane stats now, Arcane pretty much allows for item discovery in the world. So the higher your Arcane, the more likely you are to be able to collect valuable items from dead enemies. But the class also has the high dexterity stat, which is good for those of you who want to maybe also use things like short swords. The Bandit class will start at Souls level 5 with a Vigor of 10, Dexterity of 13, Mind of 11, Intelligence 9, Endurance 10, Faith 8, Strength 9 and Arcane 14. So as you can see, standout stats there being pretty much Arcane, Dexterity and followed by Mind with a few other quite well-rounded stats. So the bandit class will start with a knife and buckler, also a short bow and bone arrows. Next up is the warrior, which is probably good for those of you who want to try out lots of different weapons at the start which is a good class for people wanting to wield weapons that require high dexterity. So this would probably be the character you want to go to if you want a dex build. The warrior class stats starts at souls level 8 with vigor of 11, dexterity 16, mind at 12, intelligence 10, endurance 11, Faith at 8, Strength at 10, and Arcane at 9. So as you can see, good Dexterity, Decent Mind, and then Vigor and Endurance, pretty balanced. This is also probably a character that you're going to be able to use the Power Stance that was obviously quite popular in Dark Souls 2, because you start with two Scimitars, which you can dual wield, but you'll also get a Buckler, the blue cloth cowl and vest, and also swordsman's gauntlets and greaves. So next up is the confessor class, which is good for those of you who want to try incantations, but also want to focus maybe on a high strength and dexterity build. This class does have a high faith stat, but also having good strength and dexterity with a decent amount of vigor. This class will start at soul level 10 with Vigor at 10, Dexterity at 12, Mind at 13, Intelligence at 9, Endurance at 10, Faith at 14, Strength at 12 and Arcane at 9. So as you can see, high faith standing out there with a decent amount of Dexterity and Strength, but also a decent level of Vigor and endurance as well. 
Now the Confessor will start out in the game with a broadsword, a kite shield and the finger seal needed for incantations. Next up is the Vagabond class, which is pretty much a tank character. So for those of you who pretty much want to tank a lot of incoming damage, this is probably going to be the character you may want to start out with. The Vagabond class does pretty much have the highest level vigor when you first start the game out of any of the other classes, meaning you're going to have a lot more health points. The Vagabond class will start at Souls level 9, with a Vigor of 15, Dexterity at 13, Mind at 10, Intelligence 9, Endurance 11, Faith 9, Strength 14 and Arcane 7. So as you can see, the Vigor points really do stand out there, but also high Dexterity and a high Strength level as well, including decent Endurance. The Vagabond class does start with a Longsword, Halberd and Heater Shield. So next up is the Samurai class. Probably going to be a good one for those of you who love the Yuchi Katana from the Souls games. And this is a good class to start out with if you want the high dexterity, good level of strength and endurance. The stats starting out are going to be good for wielding that samurai sword, but if you want to change your playstyle to ranged weapons at any point, the class does include a longbow with firebone arrows. The class starts at level 9, with a vigor of 12, dexterity at 15, mind 11, intelligence at 9, endurance at 13, Faith at 8, Strength at 12, and Arcane at 8. So as you can see, Dexterity being its standout stat, followed by a good level of Endurance, Strength and Vigor. The Samurai starting equipment will be the Yuchi Katana, Longbow, Red Thorn Round Shield, Bone Arrows and Firebone Arrows. So last but not least is the Wretch class, which we don't currently have an image for, but this is pretty much the naked character from the Dark Souls games. So we will just use an image from one of the Dark Souls games at this point. This is going to be the class that you're going to want to start out with if you're an experienced Souls player and want that additional challenge from the start because the character does come with balanced stats all at 10 across the board at the start of the game. You do get a club, but that's about it for this character when you start out. So just as a little bonus for you guys, before we end the video, I just want to list some of the items that you can choose as a keep safe at the beginning of the game which are going to be similar to the gift that you could choose at the start of Dark Souls. So you can choose from the Crimson Amber Medallion, the Lands Between Rune, a Golden Seed, a Fanged Imp Ash, a Cracked Pot, a Stone Sword Key, a Bewitching Branch, a Boiled Prawn or Shabri's Woe. And that's pretty much everything that you need to know at this point about the character classes, stats and initial equipment that you're going to need to get out there into the world of Elden Ring. So now we have a really good idea of all the character stats and starting items. Let me know in the comments below which character you will choose to start your adventure in Elden Ring. We will be covering a lot more guides, tips and tricks and secrets on the channel once we get to invest more time into Elden Ring. So if you are looking for that sort of information in the future to help you with your playthroughs, don't forget to subscribe to the channel today and it is really appreciated. So before I go, I would just like to say to you guys, may you be blessed with a curseless journey. <laughs>